Hey guys and welcome to JTECWP. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use markers in DaVinci Resolve to create time codes, titles and descriptions for your YouTube videos which will save you loads of time. Before we get into the tutorial please check out DaVinciResolveTitles.com. I've created lots of title packs for DaVinci Resolve which are super easy to use, they're fast and user friendly, literally drag and drop, add your text in there and you're good to go. And make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I've got a special gift for you. All right, so we're in our DaVinci Resolve timeline, I'm going to add a marker here. You can right click, add marker. I'm just going to use blue as default. And then I can edit it by double clicking it. And I'm going to call this first one intro. Press done. Then I'm going to go to the next section in my sequence to add another marker. If I'm on a Mac, I can press command M. Or if you're on a PC, control and M, this will add a marker. Give it a name. Onto the next one, press Control M or Command M. Add my title, and you just keep repeating this process. Once you've done all your markers, we then want to go into the Delivery tab. And you want to make sure your YouTube is selected. This is a 4K video, so I'm going to select 4K. Give your video a name, set your location. And then the important bit is make sure you have chapters for markers turned on. A really important thing to note is if you have got other markers on there, make sure you select the one you used in the top bar and not the other colours, otherwise it's going to export the wrong ones. I selected blue, so I'm going to select the blue one. And then you can fill in your YouTube title and your description in here, and then just press add to render queue. It's now added it to our render queue in the top right. All I'm going to do is press render all. And now it's going to create a version wherever you told it to save the file. And it will also upload a version to YouTube with the time codes on. And you've just got to be a little bit patient while it does its render and its upload. Okay, so it's done the export to the timeline. It's now uploading it to YouTube. And there we go. Our video has uploaded. I've gone into my YouTube studio and it's added our title and the text I've put in is there. And here are our chapter markers that we added. So it saves you quite a bit of time. So you can fill in your title and your description and it'll add all your chapter markers for you, which is kind of useful. I did wonder if you could add the markers to an actual clip. It turns out that if you do it this way, it doesn't seem to work. As we see, I exported that video clip and we've got no markers. So you do need to put your markers in this top section of the timeline here. Here's a couple of little marker tips for you. I can put my playhead anywhere. If I double tap M, it'll open it, which basically does the same as control M. If I want to delete a marker, I can click on it and just press the delete key. London that with control Z. If you want to move a marker, you can just grab it, hold the mouse down, drag it along and it should snap to the next clip. To move between markers, hold down the shift key and use the up and down arrow key. So press it up, it goes left, and press the down arrow key, it goes right. So that's a quick little way you can get around your markers. If you double click on them, you can also set different colours down here if you wanted to. You could add notes, so if you're working as a team, you could put notes, you know, like change this clip here or colour grade this. You can add in keywords. And that's kind of, uh, that's the basics of markers. If you're working on a bigger project and you've got lots of markers, and you want to see them in a list, we can go to Edit Index. We can now click on the little three dots here, and then we go Show Markers. You can either have all, I'm going to choose the blues that I selected, press blue, and then it brings up a list. There is a slight bug in this because it's not shown the name. For some reason uh, in this version, it's Notes. So if I move that across, that'll show us our, our markers. But if you see, if I actually double click on them, the name is filled in and there's nothing in the notes. So that is a slight glitch in Resolve. Hopefully they'll fix that in an update. But there you go. That's how you'd see all your markers in a list. And you can see all the different times where they're marked in, colour, comments, all the information. So just a handy thing for you guys to know. And by clicking on a marker, if I want to click on affiliate program, it will take me to that exact marker in the timeline. The same with the third one. I tend to use this for chapters. If I'm building an online course, this is really helpful. You can see all your different chapters in a list and clicking on them takes you straight to it. 
Before you go, guys, don't miss out on a discount code on my DaVinci Resolve title packs. If you go to davinciresolvetitles.com forward slash discount, I'll send you a code and you can get money off the title packs. Please give the video a thumbs up and smash that like button. And if you didn't like it, smash that dislike twice and I'll see you guys on the next one.